Two high school students in Pennsylvania are receiving death threats after playing a game of hangman with the N-word as the answer. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. This took place at Hollidaysburg Area Senior High School in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, east of Pittsburgh. The hanging man in the video also appears on a burning cross. The teen who filmed the video posted it to his Snapchat, where it was taken and shared on Facebook. Someone from the area shared the post, saying, how does the school even let something like that fly or happen, SMH? Truly disgusted. Anyone who knows who's in the video or had anything to do with it, report it to the school. To answer that question, the students were supposedly alone in the classroom at that time. A teacher could see them, but not what they were drawing on the whiteboard. At John Doak shared it more widely on Twitter saying, Holidaysburg, where students play hangman using words such as the N-word. He followed that up by reposting the video with the caption, y'all thought I was playing? As soon as the video spread around the community, the superintendent released a statement calling the video an embarrassment to our students, staff, and community. The student whose Snapchat was used to post the video made an apology on Facebook. He wrote, I know there's a bunch of bullshit going on with the Snapchat and I took care of it. I'm not even the one who recorded it or posted it. Someone had my phone, not saying who, and took the video of the kid, not saying who. I sincerely apologize that this happened. People thought it'd be funny to take my phone and record stuff and try to start drama. In a text conversation, that student also claims to not have been in the room when the game of Hangman was taking place. He says he went to the bathroom but left his phone because everyone was using it for Spotify. See, these are problems like we didn't have to deal with growing up. Like I can't imagine right now what it's like to be a kid or a teenager where it's like everything is on this phone and anyone can just take it and basically ruin your life. If it's true that his phone was just taken by his friends and used to do this horrible thing. But if he's just using that as an excuse, well, yeah, shame on you. So he says he wasn't involved with this, but several of his classmates say that you can hear him laughing in the background. And the student at the whiteboard says that he's the guy filming. So yeah, not sure who to believe here. The student who drew the hangman also issued an apology on Facebook. He wrote, I'm genuinely sorry for my actions at school today. I'm not a racist. I have many black friends and I shouldn't have used that word. I'm a stupid kid and I was just trying to be funny. I know now that it is not funny and I'm very sorry to anyone offended by the post. Okay, we've been seeing this a lot lately. People taking racist actions because they think it's funny, but then they're caught in the act and then they're like, oh, I'm not racist. And people using the excuse that they have a lot of black friends. Uh, and so basically they're not racist when they're doing obviously racist things. But that's what racism is. Thinking something hurtful about a large group of people is funny because it doesn't personally affect you. Discipline against the students has not been announced, but the school district says that the investigation is ongoing and that they will be punished. Unfortunately, we're seeing more and more of these racist jokes spread on social media. And it's not like this is a new phenomenon. Bad and offensive jokes in high school are definitely rampant. But social media gives us an opportunity to expose them to the light of day so that students can realize that their words indeed do have power. While these moments suck and I wish they didn't even exist, we need to make them teaching moments. Our favorite comment about this situation comes from RoninOnTheRoot.com who writes, isn't there or can someone please make a white racist apology bingo sheet? The greatest hits can be found in this apology alone. Genuinely sorry, not a racist. Black friends, dumb mistake. Sorry to if I offended anyone. I love everyone, I'm colorblind and shouldn't have happened. So what should schools be doing for behavior like this? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.